Hello YouTube, I am the Gamer 48 here bringing you some um, some Gamer Cup Series racing here at Daytona International Super Speedway or just at Daytona International Speedway, whichever you want to call it, or the Gamer 48 Cup Series, whichever you want to call that either. Um, 19 cars will start today's Sprint Unlimited. Um, the Sprint Unlimited today is going to be broken up into three segments. One 15 lap segment, then the 10 lap segment, then a mandatory pit stop, then a five lap shootout to the finish. Are you ready for some racing? Oh yeah, we are. Um, today's weather's been no no clouds whatsoever. Today's um, today has been just clear all day. No rain for forever, basically on the radar. We're just ha gonna have a, a hell of a day. Hopefully, we're gonna get a, a lot of great racing today. Gonna, you're gonna see crashing, you're gonna see smashing, you're gonna see spinning, you're gonna see winning. <clears throat> Today, we're racing at Daytona. The command has already been given to the drivers, and Carl Edwards and Brad Kozolanski will start on your front row. We are getting ready to go on the pace lap to start the race, and now we are rolling off the pit road. Two guys I'm going to mention today is, are my friends Joey and Nathan. Um, Joey is in the 14 car. His YouTube channel is NASCAR's Awesome. Um, he's got some great videos on his channel, a lot of different variety of videos. I like his videos. A lot. I like a lot of his videos. He's pretty awesome. So um, after this race, go ahead and go subscribe to him. I'll see if you like a lot of his videos. His driver is 14, he's gonna be in the no. His driver is 14 car, he can start first. My friend, not too good in qualifying. Um, he's in the 18th position, he is number 39. Um, his YouTube channel is Raxan um, Nathan. Raxan, um, Nathan's YouTube channel is Raxan2011. And to spell that is R A C S A N. That's Chris Webb backwards. R A C S A N. And then 20111. 20111. Raxan2011. And his PSN name is Raxan2011. Just take his YouTube channel without the one. He has some great videos. He just uploaded an RTM3 race. Um, he's pretty awesome too. Go ahead and add him on PSN and sub, sub to him on YouTube. Joey's PSN is all caps all the way. Bell, B E L, then, hy then a hyphen, hyphen, then all caps A I R, then another hyphen, hyphen, and all caps, uh, the last few letters in this PSN name is G R E G. Greg, Bell Air Greg, all caps, hyphens. Pace cars off, getting ready to go. Green car, I would leave the field to the start finish line to start the race. We saw three wide racing in this corner just on the first lap. Yeah, we already saw Brad on the outside and we got a little bit of a guy in the middle on both Carl Edwards. Carl Edwards is going to be first place. Junior Nation, Junior's gonna come. 
come to lead the second lap of the Sprint Unlimited, but don't look too soon. Here come, um, don't, don't be happy, um, don't get so comfortable. Here comes Jamie Mack on the inside, trying to make a move. I think he will. He, yes, he does. He's almost there. He's almost there. Jamie Mack. Still on board Jamie Mack. Jamie Mack. Martin's got it. Martin, Martin's got the lead now. He's going to clear Jamie Mack off, off, off the second quarter. Look in the back of Martin's Martin Jr. Looking packed. Look This is Daytona. This is Pat Racing. But he's got it for now. Oh, but he's got Ricky and oh, five out of the groove. Well, there's no. There, this whole track is a groove. You can run any line here. The five just got out of line and the 78 to lead. I believe three went through the trial. Well, the 78 got it. 78 barely got it. Back on the blimp. Oh, 14 at the checkup. That's car's awesome, just checked up and half the field is right behind him. Now NASCAR's awesome and the 14 is responsible for getting that field right back up there. Or will Jimmy make a pass on him to get the to get the field back up there? We'll see what happens in the 48's making his pass. Can he finish it? In the turn three. The 15 and the 11 and the 88. I believe, yeah, the 88 and the 1 are on his side. The 29 is on the 14th side. The 99 and the 56 have nowhere to, to go besides the outside. Jimmy Johnson, can he clear him through the trial? Well, no, they're going to say side by side. Jimmy Johnson, is. this is a battle for a freaking, whatever position this is. car in the lead pack holy cat this is just the beauty of pack racing anybody's gonna be probably everybody's gonna lead at least one lap here today at, at this in this race today and uh, Kurt Busch is gonna keep the lead so far he's the only guy to lead a multiple lap today I mean more than one lap today so far oh boy this is a pack right here this is what a pack looks like we're looking at Jeff Ward in the middle of the first pack. There's your second pack. And in the back straightaway, Clint Boyer's got the lead in the second pack. While Danica Patrick is challenging Bra um, Kurt Busch for the lead. Holy cow, Matt Kenseth is shoving her. And here comes the 39 again. He was the last car of the lead pack. Now he's back in, um, in fifth. Only kill Danica Patrick to leave. Will she lead the lap side by side through trial with the 20? Yes, she just did. So mark the 10 off for not leading the lap. Now the 39's on the inside. The 20 will the 20 lead a lap. I don't think he will. He's just gonna get the lead and fall right back. 10 is going back down low. Look at the 15. He's fighting. Over. Look at the. Look at this. Here comes the second pack, closing together with the first pack. The whole field is closing together right now. Oh boy. We still have yet to see a wreck. Gonna clear him on the back straight away. He 
here comes the 55. Look at Mark Martin or Michael Watcher. Wh whoever you want to call that driver. I'll call him Michael Watcher if you're a few races. I'll call him Michael Martin for a few races. And Brian Vickers for a few races. Uh, Michael Watcher to lead with his, with his own team, with his, with his own car that he owns, 15 car. Side by side, teammates, team owner, and um, team owner versus his own car that he's racing. 11 to lead. Denny Hamlin. Now, look at Jimmy Johnson. He was in the, he was barely in the second pack. Now he's trying to take the lead. I think he will. No, yes, maybe, yes, he's going to get the lead here. Oh! Whoa! Uh, oh boy, on board with 78. Oh boy, this can't be good. Oh, crash. Big crash. Caution's out. Caution, caution, caution. 78 and the 18 don't look good at all. Oh boy. Or if he just went for a quick on board with Dale Jr. Here comes. Well, now they're just racing back to the pace car. On board with Dale again. Here's something new we're gonna add in. A pace car on board where we have an onboard camera looking at the field that's on the pace car. Something new we just added. If you like it, comment comment down below if you want to see more of this. If you don't really care. Oh well, whatever. If you dislike it for the way I've talked, the way my commentary if you do select this video comment comment that you just didn't like my commentary and you just wanted me to be better at commentating Now what I want, what I'm worried about, will this lead to a segment ending under caution, or what? Because we won't throw a green light checkered in the middle of a segment, I'm in the middle of a race, just because it's the end of a segment. Let's go through your field right now. Dale Jr.'s got the lead. Hamlin's in second. Johnson's third. Gordon is fourth. Boyer's fifth. Edwards is sixth. Jamie Mack is seventh. Casey Kane's eighth. Martrix ninth. NASCAR's awesome in your top ten. On back is Ricky Stenhouse, Danica Patrick, and Raxan 2011 is in 13th position. Pretty nice for now. Then again, we got a lot of racing left. Um, 15 laps after the segment's over, because of the 10 seg uh, the 10 lap segment, and after Raxan is Rack has last key Kevin Harvick. Michael Waltrip and Matt Kenseth. The only reason why you see 17 cars, because that was 17 cars, is because the 78 and the 18 both confirmed out of the race. Oh boy. 
So, 19 cars started. And at lap 10, we lose two. Oh boy. But now what I'm concerned about, are we going to finish this segment under green or under yellow? We're not really concerned, but... Will we or will we not? The lights are still on the pace car. We're just waiting for NASCAR's decision to, decision to either wave the green or wave the yellow until the end of the segment. And just have an extended caution period. Because the segment that we're going to go to, we're going to be under caution. And then after the second segment, we're going to pit the third segment where well, the race is over. Yeah. So, again, I just said 17 cars in the lead lap. And the only cars that are lap down are the cars that are out of the race. Are Kurt Busch and Kyle Busch. Both Busch brothers are out of the race. The 78 and the 18. Will we get the one to go this time by? We're coming to lap 14 or 13. I am not completely sure. I believe we're coming to lap 13. No, we're coming to lap 14. I really think we're coming to lap 14. Um... Yeah, we're coming to lap 14. Pace car lights are off. We will finish the segment under green. A one lap stretch to the end of the segment. When the caution, fl I mean, when the pace car goes off, we're gonna have one lap, go around that lap, and then go back under caution. I don't know why they just didn't let the cars go around, finish the segment, and then go under caution and finish the caution period. But and then again, they don't want anybody to get hurt in whatever time, but they already got it cleaned up anyway, so nothing is going to be different. Going to go back to racing. Dale and Hurt Jr. will lead the field to the green. 17 cars will make it across the finish line. Hopefully. We'll make it across the finish line. Just finish the segment off. A lot can go wrong in one lap. But I'm gonna bet since they're gonna go from caution straight to half throttle around the racetrack, then back to caution. I don't think they're gonna race so hard since it's one second. And I don't think we're gonna be able to, uh, do anything else, but we're just gonna have our 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 this the Fiat of 17 start. This is gonna be the you know, first restart of the race because this is the first caution of the race. We got our start. This is gonna be the first restart. Pace car is go about to go off. Pace car is off. Green, green, green.
got it. Junior's got it. Hello and welcome back to Daytona. They on her junior won the first segment. Now let's see if we can win the second segment. 17 cars will restart this race because the 18 and the 17 are both out of it. After due to a crash in the first segment. <clears throat> anyway, the 48 will start on the outside of the 88 car. And of course, it, that means their Hendrick Motorsports teammates will see what happens. Will they hook up in tandem? Of course not. It's just we just saw like a whole ton of pack racing. I'm just trying to fill up this segment. <clears throat> so we hit down turn three. Um, let's go through our running order real quick. Let's see what how much we can go through. Dale Jr.'s first, Jimmy second, Jeff third, Carl Edwards is fourth, Clint Boyer fifth, Jamie Mack sixth, Denny Hamlin seventh, Casey Kane eighth, Martin Trix Jr. ninth, NASCAR's awesome, finished tenth in, tenth is in the first segment. As like I said, NASCAR's awesome and Rexing 2011 1 will be the people that I call out throughout the day. Rex, um, Rexing 2011 1 looks like he's Looks like he's in the 13th position. We pace car is off. Let's get ready to start racing again, boys. Green, green, green. Three hundred motorsports cars. And Casey's back, I believe. Like, is that eighth? Oh well. The is gonna get the early jump and straight out to the lead. That doesn't mean anything. He's a sitting duck, actually. Both of his teammates could be coming by by, bo by both sides right now. Jeff is trying to make a move right now. Oh, here comes Jeff. Jamie's in, and side-by-side -side teammates. Jeff, can he? I think he's got it off of turn four. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Wait, no, no, yeah, he's got the 11 now on his bumper, the 11's on his inside. Who's gonna lead the lap? Jeff just let it. Hamlin already on his inside, but we already got Trix Jr. there. Holy cow, here we go, here we go. The whole field is three wide. Hamlin... Truex and Patrick so, three wide for lead. Can Dan and Patrick make lead another lap? I think she will. She's got her teammate and Raxan 2011 right behind her. Here comes Raxan 2011 right behind the 10 of Danica Patrick and then the 29 of um, Ma um, Kevin Harvick. Danica Patrick's gonna clear and through the trial. Danica Patrick gets the lead fighting her teammate off now. Come on, Rexon 2011. This is your TV time now. I'm gonna make a move on the on Patrick. Uh, he uh, he's got he's in the middle. Harvick. Here comes NASCAR's awesome back. Well, all three Stewart Haas guys be in the top in the top five for now. Jimmy is just hanging back there. I think he's gonna drop behind Stenhouse. He's got. Um, Junior Gordon back there. Anyway, back to lead. Michael Waltrip and NASCAR's awesome is fighting for the lead. And Waltrip led that lap. But awesome is not going to let him lead. Keep the lead. He's gonna lead the 
battle for second you watch. Look at Jimmy! Wasn't he like in he was literally last? Well, last of the lap. He was literally last of the lap just a lap ago and now he's in second. Can he clear his teammate Kane? Like can he clear his teammate Junior? Oh boy. This is all happening behind uh Bowden team maybe because of Tony um uh, Stuart Haas gets their uh um, their engines from Henry Motorsports. So anyway, they have the same engine. The top, the top four has the same engine. Here comes Gordon. Holy cow, here we go. She's in third and he's in first. Harvick making a move side by side. Patrick's just watching behind us. Her owner and her future teammate. Harvick's got more, more of a lead, but here comes Stewart right back. What will Stewart House Racing get out of this? I don't know. Oh, we got trouble! 17 around 15! Crash! Big crash! About eight cars were involved there. I think eight or nine. I think nine cars were involved in that. 24 does not look like he'll continue. You have to know the caution's out for that. That was like a nine car wreck. Now, again, this happened at the end of the segment. I don't know if the segment will finish under caution or will the segment finish under the green. But this time, the wrecks happened closer, way closer to the end of the segment than the first segment. I believe we're going to end this segment under caution. I have no idea what lap we're on, actually. I think we're on lap eight or seven or eight. I think the wreck actually, yeah, I think I think we just finished lap seven and now we're coming around to finish lap eight or lap nine, whichever. Mm. Well, let's go through your running order. It's um, Harvick, Stewart, Keselowski, Patrick, and we're going to finish this segment under caution. Last last lap of the segment. Then we have Martin Truex Jr., like I said, and NASCAR's awesome is second. And we have Raxan 2011 in sixth. I believe Harvick has the segment in the bag, but yeah, it worked. we just got um, info from NASCAR. Anyway, um, yeah, we're on lap 10 right now. 
we're completely in lap 10 of the 10 of, of this segment. So this segment ends under caution. We'll be we'll we'll fit, we'll see, watch the guys go around until pit until they come down the pit road and when they come down the pit road we will go on our commercial break and come back for the last five laps. Got a lot of damage on these on these cars. A lot of guys are gonna get a lot of damage repaired. And Harvick coming to the line to end segment two. Segment two is officially over. Right about well, when the last car of the on the lead lap crosses the line, actually. So segment two is segment two is over now. But the cars that are out of segment, because now only 14 cars are left in the race. The 24 is out. The 99 is out. And... I, I think it was... I think the 2 is out. I'm not completely sure. Um, Hold on. No, the 2 is right there. 2 is not out. There's another guy out. I just know there's another guy out. It's not Ken's of Ken's of right. Yeah, Ken's of right there. Let me. Stenhouse. It's right there. Goyer's right there. Game back. It's right there. Well, lights are off on the pace car because the segment's over. Time to go to pit road. Here we come. Down pit road. We'll be right back right after this. Oh, we got some contact on pit road. That's not good. Then again, they're here to fix their cars. We'll be right back right after this. Hello YouTube, welcome back to Daytona International Speedway. Kevin Harvick is has won the second segment and is now going on to lead us to the green of uh, the last and final segment of this race. And this segment is the five lap shootout. Here we go. Holy cow, this is so intense.
Harvick Stewart, front row. Keselowski Patrick, second row. <clears throat> Truex and um and Newman, third row. Waltrip and Johnson, fourth row. Kenseth and McMurray, fifth row. Kane and Stenhouse, sixth row. And Boyer and Hamlin, seventh row. Coming to the green flag. Pace cars off. Coming to the green flag. Green, green, green. Harvard cleaves the field. Coming to the four laps go. The, anticip the anticipation is building. Here comes Kozlowski. Yeah, oh boy, side by side. He's got the preferred line, but can he do it? They are side by side. Harvick is strong after that mandatory pit stop. Still side by side. Harvick has the little edge. Kozlowski barely beat him to the line. And yet, we still got four laps racing. Ten miles left in the race, and a lot can happen in ten miles. Well, now it's down to, um... Well, now it's about... Coming down to about nine miles. Anyway, wall trip Kazalowski. Wall trip to the lead. Coming to eight and a half miles to go. I mean seven and a half miles to go. What am I thinking? Kane inside, wall trip outside. Kane clears him. Coming down to the two to go. Two laps to go this time by. Five miles to go this time by. Oh, we got a crash. No caution. Wall trip. Oh, no. NASCAR's awesome is out. Oh, no. He's going to keep going. Keselowski. Coming to the white flag this time by. Kane and Boyer. Maybe Hamlin and Newman might have something for it. Rexon 2011, you are contending. Nathan, you are right there. Will you make a move? Oh, you're going to make a move on Hamlin? Oh, boy. Three wide for second. That doesn't look good. Oh, boy. Here we go. That's the smoke from the crash. They're just drive, drive right through that. Here, Hamlin, Boyer, Newman trying to make a move. White flag is out. Hamlin to the lead. What do you have, Nathan? Come on, what, what you got? Come on, three wide behind Hamlin. Come on, make a move. You got sun house on your bumper. Come on, make a move. You're right there, right behind them. Come on. Come on, you can make a move still. Coming off a of turn four. Come on, Nathan, make a move. 
Oh, you're making a move. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. Oh. Hamlin. Hamlin wins over Newman. Thousandths of a second. Forty one thousandths of a second. Wow. Call that a close finish. Danny Hamlin is the winner of the Sprint Unlimited. And he's going to go to Victory Lane today. Newman, second, Kane, McMurray, in the top ten, Kenseth, nice run, there's your winner, he's gonna jump out of his car and celebrate, Patrick, nice run, a few laps led, nice, well, thanks for watching this race YouTube, as we still have that 55, barely made it around, who? Be on the lookout for the two Budweiser duels. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, rate, subscribe. I'm the Gamer48. Peace out.